Hello, my name is John Vogelsang. I'm the distribution manager here at Hill Rom. Today we will show you the proper method to lower beds and the various types of beds we manufacture. For occasions when you need to pick up trade-in beds, we will show you the procedure for that as well. You're going to see the various tools and equipment that are used on a daily basis, along with any additional materials that you may also need. The purpose of this film is to show you the proper method of lowering hill round beds. By doing that, we should eliminate any potential for injury as well as damage to the beds in the unloading process. In addition, we have work instructions for all the drivers. These work instructions provide you with a step-by-step -step process of how to do the job. We feel that with the video and the work instructions, these will enable you to do your job properly. The most critical part of all this is the driver himself. Whenever you go out on a trip, you must take the time to make sure you have the proper tools and equipment and they are all in workable condition. If they're not, you should report that immediately to the distribution department. Also, when you are out on a trip, if you encounter any problem with these tools or equipment, please notify us immediately. If necessary, we'll put that equipment out of service when you return to Batesville. At this point, I am going to turn it over to Mike. He will go into further details as to all the tools, equipment, and the individual beds that you will be lowering. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mike Toth, the driver for Hill Rum. I'm going to show you the equipment that is on the back of the trailer on each Hill Rum trailer for your usage at a delivery. The first item I'm going to show you is going to be the IntelliDrive wheels. This is primarily used for ramp deliveries of a total care bed. The next item is you'll notice this blue hook. This blue hook is used not only to help you take the plastic bag off the beds, but it is also used to move the hoist. The hoist being up here, you just hook it in and pull and then move the hoist to will. Replacing the hook after usage on the back of the trailer slot provided. The next items coming down further, you'll notice you have a two-wheeler. You have two four-wheeler platforms. You also have a blue hook. This blue hook will be used for reloading beds, and this will be shown at later on in this film. In the meantime, you're looking and inspecting for all the equipment to be in perfect shape making sure that the power cord does not have a split into it that is going to prevent electrical shocks or blowing of a fuse. If you do find one this way, you do go ahead and call the office and report to the supervisor that the cord is cut and is unsafe. Upon arrival back to the yard, you would red tag the trailer. You would also notify the garage including your supervisor again to make sure that they, this is fixed before you do go out again. All the items, as you see here, are locked. And before you leave out, be sure you have a key, which is provided by the company. The key is nothing more than just inserting to lock, turn, and it will pop open. The chain is now released, the two-wheeler is free, and so are the four-wheeler platforms. Included with the items, you will notice some straps. This strap here being the universal strap, you can see the fact that it's basically a straight strap. You also have a total care strap. Now this strap here is also used for the VersaCare bed upon lowering uh, from the trailer dock level. You also have a third strap which is attached to the wall. Now you'll notice that this is a little bigger, a little wider. 
This is a, called a kickback strap to prevent the beds kicking back and damaging the further ones that have to be removed. And this is nothing more than just hooking on to the side walls on both sides. The first thing you do is right here is a strap which secures the beds in place. It is nothing more than just pulling this strap out as you see, put your thumb on the buckle, push the buckle down and that does release the tension on the strap. Your next movement would be going off to the side of the trailer where it's attached to the wall and put your thumb on the lever, pull out and up and now you are ready. Right now what you're looking at is the beds, how they are stacked inside the trailer. The next step that you want to have is to take a look at the braces down on the bottom of the beds to see if they are interlocked, leaning, anything to just prevent from you getting hurt when you do pull the bed out. You are now going to make space of these two beds so you can unload them safely. Again, looking down at the brace down here, you see that they are still interlocked. What you are to do then is go ahead and rock the beds out. In other words, just push, pull back, and spin the bed out just a little bit. Now again, you see that this one is, has space in it. Do the second one as such. You go ahead and push the bed to the side, rock it back, and now you are ready to unload the beds. The Avanta bed. The unloading of the Vanda bed, you will need certain tools. The first tool will be your plastic cutter, which is a knife. You also will be using a half inch socket wrench, deep or short on the socket. Remember the hook back there we showed you? The hook we will be using to move the hoist this way. You will also be using the kickback strap. Again, this will be put, uh, installed after the bed is moved into place. Okay, the, the first thing that you would, you would need to do is move the hoist into place. Again, taking the blue hook, taking to the hook, pulling and bringing back the hoist. Making sure the pins on both sides are into place. The next thing you do is go ahead and take the blue hook provided, bring it up to the hook, use it on the control box in the down position, bring it down to reachable height, remove the blue hook, inserting the universal strap. The universal strap opening just like this, and close. Make sure that the hook is flush all the way down. At this point, you go ahead and raise it all the way back up at that position. Now you are ready to go to work on the bed. Take the bag cutter. There are several ways of doing this, but what is preferred is taking the bag cutter into the bag, making a T coming straight down, as you can see, keeping the plastic bag away from the bed. Bring it all the way down. Now you notice it's nice and neat as far as the clearance. Now this bed is a little taller than, than some of our other beds. So what we have done, again, the universal blue hook, is reach up here, Bring the bag across, if you're a short person that is, and just pull the plastic bag and remove. Now you are ready to go ahead and put the bed in position for lowering. Again, it's coming to the, the bottom side of the bed, the frame part, spin, and set. Using the universal strap, being already attached, you bring it up and under the axle, lower the hoist just a bit, 
attach the strap into the hook, which when you hear that click, it's like your seatbelt, you're in good shape. Raise the hoist for tension on the universal strap. After you have the bed in the ready to lower position, you would install the kick back strap. As you can see down in this corner here, it goes from left to right, probably about three to maybe four slots high off the floor, which would be equivalent to about a foot, maybe a foot and a quarter. Make sure that is secure. Now you are ready to lower the bed. As you turn around to lower the bed, be sure your strap is hooked. Lean the bed forward, making sure the top of the bed here clears the hoist. Bring it down and let it fall in the cradle. At that point there, you're set to go. You'll notice that the strap, the way it is right now, will hold that bed all day. You come back over to the controls. You go ahead and push the down button. You bring in the bed down. At this point, the bed should go ahead and kick back. Now you see how that kickback strap back there did go ahead and stop the bed from going into any further damage on previous other beds. Now that you have the bed lowered, your next job will take your wire cutters. You come off to the front of the bed here. You cut, you have two wires on this side. Now you notice how that dropped. So how to prevent that is to go ahead and pull the hook out. Come back over to the other side of the bed. Cut these two, like that, and pull the pin out. Now the brace will be removed. You store it on the side of the trailer. You are now ready to work on the top side of the bed. Now that you have taken the straps off the front side of the bed, you come to the back side, the back side being the headboard. The first thing you want to do is you will find a strap right here and you can either use the wire cutters or else just pull and remove. The next step, you have two blocks up here. Now these are where the screws are on the back side. You lift up the head panel just a little bit, push down on the blocks. You notice you have two bolts since you have moved to the cardboard. You take your half inch ratchets, insert it, this position, doesn't matter if you do left or right side, unloosen. Take the bolt off on this side here, then you move back over to the other side of the bit. And do the same thing. You, you are removing the bolt. After you get done with the bolts, there is a box provided, and you just throw the hardware into the box. You go ahead and pull the brace out just a little bit, remove, pick up on the brace, move it off to the side, and the bracket will come out. After removal of the bracket, you have your center post here. You must remove this and insert it into a box provided. Nothing more than taking your wire cutters, cutting the plastic tie as such, removing the cotter pins, and there are two of them you have to remove. Bring those out, take this, remove. Then you start stacking your bracket accordingly. After removal of the hook, the bracket put in the appropriate place, the bed is now ready to roll out to the hospital stock. Take your bag cutter, go to the top of the bed, 
and bring it all the way down. Again, remembering, keep the cutter away from the bed. You remove the bag. Again, this is a tall, tall bed, so we suggest you use the hook. Bring the hook up under. Bring it back. And now you're ready to go. This bed, you use the total care strap. Total care strap again. You lower the hook. Bring it to you within reach. Insert. Again, hearing the click. Bring the strap back up. You take the two ends of the total care strap and hook it around the casters. As such. You go ahead and make sure that you have proper clearance of the top of the bed to the hoist. Let the bed fall forward. Again, watching your straps so that they do not bind. And that's, again, you can see the bed can hang there all day. With this bed hanging, your next step is to make sure that your kickback strap has been installed. After you've made sure that was secure, you go ahead and lower the bed, bring it down on all four wheels, you notice how that does catch the bed. You take the two straps off on the top end of the bed. As such, the bracket then does remove, put it on the side of the trailer neatly and position your other beds. Now the bed is ready to be removed from the trailer. Transtar, the gentle ride. On this stretcher here, we will be now using the universal strap. The universal strap, in this trailer you will see we have an alternative bed lowering system. All it is is done by hydraulics. You bring down the hook, again snap, Make sure you hear that click. Let it retract by itself. You come over to the stretcher. You will now see that you have a yellow band which prevents damage to the fifth wheel. You have a cotter pin on the bottom of the stretcher and then you have two on the other side. The first thing you will do is go ahead and cut the band and remove. Now this allows the fifth wheel to move freely upon moving. You then take your, to your universal strap, go into the top part of the stretcher, hook it around the bar up here, bring it around, Again, hooking the other part of the universal strap to the hook. Again, hearing the click, making sure the click and the pin is straight. Move the strap closer to the center of the stretcher. From there, you come all the way down to the very bottom. Removing the cotter pin is just pulling out, pushing the pin backwards removing the cotter pin and putting in the box provided. Come back to the top part of the stretcher. You have two cotter pins noted here. Removing the two cotter pins that are provided. You remove these, put these in the bolt box, move the bracket out, and the stretcher is ready to roll out. What you see here is the affinity bed. 
otherwise known as a berthing bed. You go ahead and it's loaded against the wheels to the wall. Turn the bed out where it comes to you. Again, to emphasize the wheels on all the beds come to you. The first thing you want to notice on this bed here is how the wheels are, the braces. On this bed here, they have a fuse. The fuse is now located on the box of the nightlight. As you can see, the fuse here is now taped. All you have to do is remove the fuse from the tape and install and slot back here in the back. So now the bed is ready to be lowered. On this bed here, you'll be using the total care beds. Remember we explained what a total care strap was earlier in the segment. Okay, you notice the bed is down. Now you have to remove the brace to bring it back to Batesville. You will notice that you have two half inch nuts right here. You can either use a deep socket or go and use a small extension. And these do come all the way out. These do not stay in at any time. Take them out. The brace will just come back to you, put off to the side, and roll the bed out. This bed here is the residence bed, otherwise known as the 870 bed. This bed is a lightweight bed, but the first safety factor that we're going to show you is you'll notice the brake versus the caster. This is a very, very low bed to roll into a facility, and a lot of times this brake here will catch going from the outside to the inside hallway. Go ahead and turn the bed again to you with the wheels faced at you. At this point, you go ahead and get your universal cable. Go ahead and latch it back up onto the hoist. Singling the click, bring the 